Paul Ryan's doing an event in Youngstown, Ohio. And uh, afterwards, he, out of the goodness of his heart, with his entire family, is going to go and help uh, feed homeless people. He's going to go to a soup kitchen uh, at uh, St. Vincent de Paul Society. In, it's in Mahoning uh, County. And uh, they're going to go and help the homeless. Now, here's problem number one. The events are already over. The, the, the soup kitchen is closed. There's no homeless people there. They already ate. Here's problem number two. Everybody already cleaned up, and all the dishes are clean. You think that's going to deter Paul Ryan? Oh, no. This is the man who, after running over a four-mile marathon, I'm sorry, four, that would be a, an interesting marathon, <laughs> a four-minute marathon, that would be awesome, <laughs> a four-hour marathon, then went around and said, oh, I ran in a little over three hours. Like, he lies with abandon for no reason, right? So here he is at the event. How are you going to get found here today? What's your name? Yes, Anya Paul. Nice to meet you. This is my daughter, Liza, and this is Sam. And I got other ones. And that's Charlie and Mrs. Janice. What's your name? Hey, Jake. What are you looking for? Are you volunteering here? This is, this is really important. It's important you do this and you learn, you learn how you help them. That looks great, man. He's meeting the volunteers. It's important you do this. You got the family. All right, now look at how clean these dishes are that they're about to clean. This is awesome. You know, I spent a summer washing dishes. We had a whole bar that was You get calluses on your fingers because it's so hot. Yeah, you're good. Oh, yeah, this one? Hey, buddy. Yeah, yeah, I, I there, uh, you spent a whole summer washing there, dishes. Right? You might know what a clean dish looks like. That thing is spick and span, man. I've never seen this so clean in my life. The one on, the, on his left there. Okay, now watch, watch the one he's gonna watch. All right. Well, the bottom looks pretty clean, but you know he's watching the inside. I like how he's pointing it away from the camera. But you're about to see it. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. The cleanest dish in America. This, ladies and gentlemen, is called a photo op. Make sure all the soaps are Get it in the bottom one more time. I'm going to break these. Sam and Liza, go ahead and hold it. Don't drop it. I'm going to give you another one. The world's worst photo op. Oh, come on, man. See, but that's the thing about politicians. They can't help themselves. They're so fake. Like, if I go to do that, I'm like, oh. Well, we came to help. Sad day. Turns out you guys already uh, serve people. Thank you for, so much for doing that. Really appreciate it. You meet a couple of people and you go home. You don't, in front of the cameras, take perfectly clean dishes and say, oh, man, I'll tell you, I know how to clean dishes. I spent a summer. I once, you know, I had a callus on my hand. Once. All right, let's watch these things. What a fraud. What an unbelievable fraud. So the guy who runs the clinic, Brian uh, Antel, uh, or the DePaul Society, says they showed up there and they did not have permission. They got one of the volunteers to open up the doors. It's awesome. He continues, the photo op they did wasn't even accurate. He did nothing. He just came in here to get his picture taken at the dining hall. Brian, I got news for you. That's exactly right. Yeah, that's what they do. Quote, I can't afford to lose funding from these private individuals. If this was the Democrats, I'd have the same exact problem. In other words, he's saying, dude, you're going to get us shut down. We can't be partisan. Here you are running for vice president on one of the tickets. If you were a Democrat, I couldn't have you either. If you'd asked for permission, I'd have said, no, I can't have you in here. You're making it political. We need people giving us donations because we're non-political. He said, had they asked for permission, it wouldn't have been granted. But I certainly wouldn't have let them wash clean pans and then take a picture. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> uh, by the way, they also had strict rules for the press. Do not tape them talking to any homeless people. Why? Because it's impromptu, and they don't know what he might say or they might say. So now, I don't know who this gentleman is, but there's a quick interaction here. Let's just take a quick look here. This is Richard. What's your name? Hey, yeah, hometown here. Is it? Born, you, born and raised young yeah. Are you yeah, really cool? Uh -huh. Nice to meet you. Yeah. I live in a town similar called James. You can shoot oh, right oh, in here. Okay. So anyway, it was nice to meet you. Yeah, I live in a somewhat similar town. I'll see you later, okay? <laughs> yeah, that's really, that's fascinating. Hey, listen, there's some really clean dishes in the back. You might want to check that out. <laughs>
fraud. Fraud.